Hi, this is Jody from Teachtopia TV with a brief tutorial on odd and even numbers. So let's go ahead and spell odd and even. Let me clean up that E right there. A little better. So odd and even numbers. Now, basically when I work with students, the way I tell them to identify even numbers is I simply go 2, 4, 6, 8, and then I say 2, 4, 6, 8, who do we appreciate? And there's one more number they need to know, and you need to know, and that is 0. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0. Once you want to un understand that 2, 4, 6, and 8, and 0 are even numbers, then you will understand anything other than 2, 4, 6, and 8 are odd numbers. But let's go into the idea behind that, the theory. Now, here we go. Here is a basic 10 frame. Okay, here's our 10 frame. One, two, three, four. Notice our 10 frame has 10 individual places to put counters or any kind of representation of a number. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in represent 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now notice, in this scenario, every single one has a matching one with it. We have pairs. We have groups of two. Two, four, six, eight. Now, there is no individual counter here that is by itself. Let's go ahead and erase one of our one of our counters here. Okay. Now, let's count what we've got now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh-oh! We have an odd man out or an odd woman counter out. And seven is just that, an odd number. There is no matching counter here. If we were to match it, let's go ahead and match it. Then we have the full eight, and that's an even number. But when you have one left over, it's odd. What if I did this? Nine. Does nine have a matching pair? No. So therefore, it is an odd number. And our odd numbers are one. One second here. Our odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, nine. Now, believe it or not, we have gone over everything we need to know to identify odd and even numbers, but you're probably thinking, well, it's great, but what if the number is greater than 10? Well, that's simple as well, too. For identifying odd and even numbers, all you have to do is simply look at the number or the digit that is on the farthest right. So, for example, let's say we get a very large number. I'm going to go ahead with a very large number. 1,237. The number you look at is the number that is the farthest on the right, and that is 7. We look at 7. Is 7 odd or even? It is an odd number. Does it fall into 2, 4, 6, 8? Who do we appreciate or 0? No. 7 does not fall into that. It is an odd number, so therefore the entire number is an odd number. What if we have a number like this? This will be a little tricky. 3,332. Now, the reason why this is tricky, because if you look here, 3 is odd, 3 is odd, 3 is odd, but the only number you look at to determine whether the entire number is an odd number is the number that's on the farthest right. And what is on the farthest right? A 2. So therefore, this number 
is even. And of course, when we are dealing with 7, the number there is odd. So let's just do our 2468 thing again. 2468, who do we appreciate? Plus 0 is always going to be even. And 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 is always going to be odd. This was Teachtopia TV with a brief tutorial on what is odd and even, or what are odd and even numbers.